Here's my quick commentary on news regarding battery swapping and um, autonomous driving or ride hailing um, in the future and what this might bring to the industry. So here we got the news and I know it's lame just reading the news but I think that one um, needs a little bit more context to be frank. Um, CATL DD form a JV for so a joint venture for battery swap business. Um, you may know that CATL is already one of the shareholders of NEO's battery asset management company. So that means that's the company in which um, the actual batteries are on the balance sheet. And, um, you know, these are the batteries that are being uh, swapped into NEO cars currently, right? And NEO always said they are open to accepting more partners. Um, and, you know, this company uh, might potentially scale also with some of the um, new partnerships that have been announced uh, in the last couple of months. But that's not the news about today. Here it's about Didi and CATL. And um, I think the big news here is that this is kind of validating the fact that um, the most important industry, uh, industry people here from CATL and Didi are thinking that for autonomous ride hailing where the cars are on the roads and uh, possibly driving without any anybody else in the car then except for the for the uh, the ride hailing guest um, that they are using battery swapping so let that sink in because we basically have said this here on the channel since a while that neo has currently the only solution um, that is fully automated when it comes to power replenishing Right, so everybody who's just um, you know thinking about autonomous driving, like Tesla, for example, is betting on different infrastructure, which is supercharging. You might say, of course, you can, um, you know, supercharging will get better over time, faster. So maybe the time thing might not be a big issue. However, we've also seen um, companies, especially in Europe, um, buying into the battery swapping business um, when it comes from uh, for taxi providers so it somehow seems that taxi providers do see some merit here in the advantages of battery swapping that the swap itself is very fast um, and also i think in this regard also that it can be done autonomously without any person involved and so the question here is whether or not that really might be the technology going forward in the future for fleet providers of autonomously driving cars so uh, we've seen the videos of neo cars um, autonomously approaching the battery swap station so off ramping the highways going and searching the swap station uh, performing the swap and going back to the highway which they can also most of the time already um, drive uh, without any further assistance of the driver and um so NEO is already de demonstrating this and now this news comes in which is interesting because DD is also one of course of uh, the major uh, ride hailing platform car hailing uh, uh, cap hailing platform in China and they have uh, if you remember I posted that one also on the channel last year um, made a partnership with Xpeng in which they are going to build a model together um, which will be exclusively used i think for battery uh, not for battery swapping for um, ride hailing and it seems like um, they come to the conclusion here that they are they are wanting to use battery swapping as their main method of, of replenishing power and so that is a big buy-in a big um, validation of the business model here uh, or also the technology um, standard of battery swapping um, how neo comes in to this specific deal uh, we don't know at this point in time uh, it might be that this ultimately has something to do in the end with neo's uh, sub brands and uh, neo platform the nt 3.0 platform there might be some cooperation happening also with catl or xpeng and therefore also dd in the future that's highly speculative it could totally be the case that this has nothing at all to do with neo but then still again this might be again a big buy-in and um, validation if the industry is suddenly trying to compete for getting to the market of ride hailing with battery swapping and you know um, this could have a huge traction um, other manufacturers will want to use the same thing do the same and as always in china um, the first 
uh, who is growing very, very big, has the, the biggest market in the end, the winner takes it all approach here. And we might see lots of companies rushing to it. And of course, NEO is very well positioned for capturing that market, uh, given the build out of the infrastructure which they have. By the way, of course, CRTL also has been working on their own battery swapping um, uh, stations and uh, also, yeah, um, did a little bit of a build out, but it's, to be honest, it has become quite silent around these um, approaches. So we have to say that currently nobody else as NEO is doing it seriously and we'll have to see whatever comes out of such kind of a project. Again, the main takeaway here is that they think battery swapping is the ideal scenario for replenishing power here, not supercharging, and that makes it difficult to imagine that um, you know a ride-hailing fleet will be built for autonomous driving based on supercharging in the future. Instead, that might quickly become um, sunk cost in terms of that you either need better infrastructure in the future and have to rebuild your current infrastructure or you need some sort of a new solution in order to automatically replenish power. What is already happening today is battery swapping, NEO is doing it and now new players are coming in as well. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.